So guys, funeral strippers, it's a thing. <laughs> oh, many of you have sent me articles about this. Uh, the trend started to become more popular in around 1980 in Taiwan. And these strippers either ride on these big vehicles with a pole on them down the procession for the funeral or may walk alongside the casket while it's going into the venue or as it's exiting. Wild, right? So the BBC reported in 2018 that China renewed a clampdown on strippers performing at funerals, weddings, and temples, calling it obscene and vulgar. But funeral stripping originated and is most common in Taiwan, but there's no real history of exactly how this tradition began. And you would think it would take part in the bigger cities more, it does not. It is more common in the smaller rural, rural areas. You know, large crowds are considered a show of how important the life was. So strippers bring in crowds, I guess. <laughs> it is also a sign of a person's wealth. And as a quote, um, in some local cultures, dancing with erotic elements can be used to convey the deceased wishes of being blessed with many children. A professor of Fujian Normal University told the state media outlet, the Globe Times. Even with laws written, it's still happening. I don't know that there's people out policing this heavily. Um, there's even a hotline to call in any funeral misdeeds to report them for payout. The blog Seven Ponds reports young women perform are what are known as electric flower cars, where they sing, dance, and slide up and down stripper poles, sometimes removing the few items of clothing that they're wearing. And despite their relatively new appearance at funerals, reports of Taiwanese women stripping at religious performances date back more than a century. The blog also says that in 2017, Taiwanese politician Tung Xiang, Tung Song made news with his lavish funeral celebration after his death at 76. His son told Set TV that his father had appeared to him in a dream to request that his funeral be hilarious. As a result, it included some 50 pole dancing women. 50. In addition to the traditional totems, drummers, luxury cars, and flag bearers. His son said that he sure his father enjoyed a buzz. So what do you guys think of funeral strippers? Yes, no, what would you do if you showed up at a funeral and there were strippers? <laughs>